hey guys welcome back to my channel this is norella signature my name is norella joseph and it's another makeup tutorial for you guys yeah because i love you guys thank you guys so much for the support of my last video thank you for the love thank you for the views thank you for the for all the new subscribers thank you and you're welcome back to my channel so this is another makeup tutorial yeah this is a really bold eyes and my own kind of mood lip so um i tried something new in this video it's i did um freckles fresh um artificial freckles on my face i hope it did really suck me because i've been seeing it on all the on all that um, youtuber and all the makeup artists i really admire and decided to try it for the first time I I think it came out well. And funny enough, I do actually have nature freckles. I do have it, but you know, now we want to do it while the makeup is on, and it's not possible because the foundation and everything has covered the nature one. So, guys, thank you so much. So I I'll leave you to get to this video if you want to see how I got this bold eyes and this lips. And this face, please keep watching. I'll see you to the end of the video. I like to prime my face before I put on my foundation to, you know, uh, make my foundation stick to my face for a longer time without dropping or without, you know, oiling out and all that. So I'm going to be putting my foundation. I mix two foundations and just to get my perfect shade. And sometimes I don't even get my perfect shade. I don't know. My my skin is kind of uneven sometimes. So I'm spraying my mist on my beauty blender to blend out my foundation properly. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing right there. So I'm going to be um putting on my concealer on the high points of my face. Yeah, under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my chin. Yeah. So I'm gonna be blending that out properly. I wanted to use the Brady Beauty Blend, so I had to go for this over brush. It blends really, really well. As in, why did I even use it to even blend out my foundation? Gosh, I love this over brush, and I wonder why it didn't stay in the market. Seriously, did you guys notice? Over brush didn't stay for long. So, guys, I'm going to be um contouring my face here. Yeah. I like to. I've noticed that when you use liquid, liquid liquid contour or liquid products of, of, of liquid products when you want to contour then uh, the powdered one it actually brings out your cheekbone yeah it actually makes your face a little bit smaller than powder contour products yeah that's what i've noticed so i'm blending down out i like to blend out my the ones i tried i put on my cheekbone i like to blend it um you know bring it upper just to make my face a little bit smaller you know that's the goal so i'm setting my face with my micro contour palette yeah so that's what i'm doing on my chain yeah under my eyes and just going over and over again so i'm putting it on my uh on, on my eyes just to make my um my um eyeshadow stick you know and sometimes i use it on my primer so i'm doing my brows so guys if you want to if you want me to show you how i do my brows i have two types of brows i do i if you want to know how i do my simple brows please yeah, please comment down below so i'm going to be using this palette by the masquerade mini by uh, juvius and i'm going in with this shade this purple shade um called um ada yeah and then i'm going back with this lighter purple by zobo called zobo rather and i'm just going to use that to blend out the purple on the on around my cheekbone area my my brow bone area rather so i'm going in with this black called fulani just to you know bring out my crease make it a little give it a little bit depth depth and make it more 
more smoky and all that so that when i cut my crease you see the transition from the purple and the black down to the to the lighter purple so i'm just blending that out with the first purple i use called ada i'm just blending the whole thing out so that it can be even you can see the transition so i'm cutting my crease i'm just cutting my crease using my my pro girl concealer in um beige Birch or BH, whatever English, not in my language. So I'm just cutting that out, and then I'm going to be going in with this color on the same palette by called Caro. Is it Caro? Yeah, it looks kind of lighter, but putting it on the pigment is crazy. As in, I love this color, just so nice, so smooth. There was no fallout really i love i i did love this but everything i used was from this masquerade mini by juvius so everything i used on my eyes was from the same palette so i'm just using that same um dark purple i used by called ada on my crease on the outer v and then i'm going in with this pink called bori just to you know you know accelerate the look a little bit and then I'm just blending it out with that same purple color. That I'm just blending the whole thing out at my outer V. And then I'm going in with that black by called Fulani. Just to give it a little depth and make it more smoky by the outer V. Just to make it as if I'm creating a ring, you know, connecting to the crease. So I'm just putting on my mascara by Classic. I love their mascara, seriously. They are really nice. So I'm putting on my falsies. Yeah. Just to make my eyes pop, you know, when I talk. Yeah, I can confess you right now. So, okay, eyelashes done. I'm going in with my gel liner by Huda Beauty. I'm just lining the my waterline. You know, and when if you can see properly, and when I'm watering it, I'm making it fall out underneath my waterline so that it can blend out with the colors I'm going to use. So I'm going in with that first purple coat, I dab that first dark purple to to line underneath my waterline. You know, like doing the same thing I did on my eyes, and I'm going in with that pink shade called Bori, just putting it underneath my underneath the purple. You know making it more smoky and then i'm going in with that black called fulani to just just underneath the outer v just to connect it with the uh, line the wing liner i was trying to do connecting it with my crease with my what is it called yes my cup crease yeah so i'm just blending out my my setting powder just blending it out after baking for some time and i'm trying to coat my contour to make my my, my cheekbone you know come out a bit and you see me see my bones like see that b b okay guys sorry i'm blending out my powder then you know trying to redo my contour on the bridge of my nose bringing out a bit and then doing the same thing on my cheekbone yeah that's what i'm doing i love contour it just gives you some kind of your face which just when you have a broad face it just makes it a little bit like a v face you know i just whoever brought this so i'm going i'm, I'm i just put on my blush and then highlight did i tell you i'm a freak for highlighters like seriously I love to highlight. I have. I love my highlighter to pop. I love my highlighter to be the first thing you see before you see all the makeups on my face. You know, so I'm just highlighting the side of my nose and my lips on top, on top of my lips, and then the bridge of my nose. Um, I'm using my highlighter. I used my highlighter from my BH Conspecting palette. Okay, using the two shade there. So I'm going back with that same the, the color on my lead called what is it called? Called Cairo. So on I'm putting that on my my tear dot, right? Yeah. So I'm lining my lips with my 
brow pencil just to line the lips and giving it a bridge where i'm going to start putting on my lipstick so i'm going with this orange lipstick by miss rose it's kind of it's really glossy i don't like glossy lip gloss i mean the idea is that i put the gloss that i want to put on the matte lipstick you know right so i didn't like the color so i decided to go with this light this nude color nude lipstick nude stain nude lip stain so by Rida so, so, so that's the look guys guys now that i've come to the end of this video i hope you like it sorry guys i didn't show you how i put on my artificial freckles and the glitters on my on my crease well i didn't want it to pull the glitter seriously i just wanted to do this bold eyes but i said yeah it's a bold eye why not make it more dramatic so i decided to go for these glitters and i like i love how it came out i love how the blue is sitting on my eyes with other colors i like it that's focus i didn't want to show you guys because i'm doing it for the first time you want to show you on camera that I don't hold my hand, but funny enough, you see, sometimes we don't believe in ourselves and see how it came out because I like it. I've been seeing it on on on, on YouTubers, I've been seeing it on makeup artists, I've been seeing it on people's faces, and I love it. I always admire it when I see it on people's faces, and I decided to try it out for the first time on camera. I don't know how that would turn out so. I had to, I had to face my shit myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But sometimes you just have to believe in yourself that you have the ability to do whatever you. And if you actually came out wrong, so what? Like seriously. But guess what? It came out right, and I love it. I love it. I'm gonna be on artificial freakers from now on. It's hashtag freaky face. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Please give your girl a thumbs up. Like this video. Subscribe to this video. Put on your notification button to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And comment down below whatever you like to see. Um, I'm thinking of doing a brow video. If you're interested, you can comment down below and I'll, I'll do that so please subscribe please subscribe share this video with love thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on my next video yeah see you on my next video guys